This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 594, The First Step Toward an Awesome Life, by Brian Gardner of nosidebar.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Thursday, and welcome to Optimal Living Daily, a podcast with the crazy vision of bringing thousands of blogs to audio for free, sometimes even books. Before we get to it, thanks to RX Bar for supporting Optimal Living Daily. RX Bar is a whole food protein bar with no BS. You can get 25% off your first order at rxbar.com slash old and use the promo code old. Again, that's rxbar.com slash old and the promo code is old. I'll keep this intro nice and short for you, so let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. The First Step Toward an Awesome Life by Brian Gardner of nosidebar.com. Last weekend, my wife and I spent a much needed evening out on a date. We enjoyed fireside lattes, vanilla cupcakes, and some really great conversation. Afterwards, we had some extra time, so we decided to drop by Barnes & Noble Bookstore. Believe it or not, there are a few of those places still around. While we were there, I walked past a book that I had seen a number of times and one that was recommended to me by many friends. Hashtag Girlboss by Sophia Amoruso, founder and executive chairman of Nasty Gal. I felt a little weird picking it up, but I knew this was the story of her life from a homeless teenager to aspiring entrepreneur. In some ways, something I knew I'd relate to, but something on the back cover caught my attention. Quote, girl boss is more than a book. Girl boss is a movement, unquote. When I started No Sidebar, it began as something personal that I was going through and was something I thought others would benefit from, but it quickly grew into a community of like-minded folks. In short, No Sidebar became more than a blog. It became a movement. We currently have 25 contributors, and many of those not only contribute to us, but they also write for their own blogs and websites. We have more than 19,000 fans on Facebook, and the engagement and reach we get there far exceeds my expectations. On any given post or photo, we get a tremendous amount of likes and shares. Please keep that coming. I share these numbers with you because they matter. They matter because they reflect a movement we are experiencing together. At some point in our journey, we've all made the same decision, and it's something Sophia Amoruso writes about in her book, Girl Boss. Quote, you've already taken the first step toward an awesome life by simply wanting one, unquote. I believe we're all in a similar place, and this one very important thing is the key toward building that awesome life. We need to want it first. And when we want it, we're motivated to be committed to the work it takes to stay there. Here are five quotes from Sophia's book that stood out to me. I hope these provide the perspective needed to help you experience an awesome life. Number one, focus on your own journey. Quote, the energy you'll expend focusing on someone else's life is better spent working on your own, unquote. Why bother wasting time and energy thinking about the journey of someone else when you can channel that into your own? As easy as that sounds, I find myself frequently suffering from imposter syndrome and comparing myself to others. Obviously, it's something I need to remind myself often about, but beneath it all, I know it to be true. If we embrace the my grass is plenty green mentality, I think we'll be in a much better place and on our way to experience a joy-filled life. Number two, invest in your own well-being. Quote, spend money because it's an investment in your own well-being not because you're bored and have nothing else to do, unquote. I have no problem buying something if it makes me feel good about myself. A new pair of running shoes, an enjoyable book, or a well-designed coffee mug. These are examples of items that bring value to my life without a high cost. Now, if we're talking about impulse items, ones that are typically higher in price, those are the ones I have to worry about and fight the temptation to buy. These are the things that typically bring instant regret upon transaction. If it brings me happiness without regret, it's a green light in my eyes. Number three, embrace your uniqueness. Quote, the last thing the world needs is another boring person or another boring brand. So embrace all the things that make you different, unquote. I've never been someone to shy away from being different and it's something I've always enjoyed about myself. When I was in high school, I thrived on being a contemplative person and someone who was more interested in poetry and philosophy than my friends. It's just what I wanted to do. Nowadays, I place high value on authenticity and keeping things real, which in today's business world isn't quite the norm. In her book, Sophia's transparency about her journey is infectious and something that drew me in from the start. Number four, 
Be original in what you do. Quote, in whatever you do, you're not going to stand out unless you think big and have ideas that are truly original. That comes from tapping into your own creativity, not obsessing over what everyone else is doing, unquote. This goes hand in hand with a few of the previous points and is something that just makes sense to me. It's all about standing out and being different. Having an awesome life isn't the same thing as having a typical or expected life. It's about trying new things, going about them in unique ways and living the life you want to live rather than the life you think others want you to live. Number five, live out what you believe. Quote, the heartbeat of Nasty Gal doesn't exist in one style or article of clothing. It's in the way we talk, the way we carry ourselves, and the way we see the world, unquote. In whatever you do, do it fully. Be sold on your approach to life and make it everything you are. After all, you're the one in charge. The way people will see you is really just a reflection of how you see yourself. If you're a happy person, people will see a happy person. If you're a person living an awesome life, people will see a person living an awesome life. In the end, we have the luxury of determining where we go, what we do, and who we bring. And all of this will be based on how we choose to live our life. You just listened to the post titled, The First Step Toward an Awesome Life by Brian Gardner of nosidebar.com. Thank you again to RX Bar for sponsoring this episode. RX Bar is made with 100% whole ingredients and actually dairy-free, gluten-free, and soy-free with no added sugar. And now, I love chocolate. I've talked about that on the show before. So for me, chocolate sea salt and peanut butter chocolate are perfect flavors. Oh, and chocolate chip, of course, and mint chocolate. They have all of those. But I do love my fruit, which they have too, like blueberry. So plenty to choose from and all delicious. It's perfect for eating on the go or as a snack while you're at work, for your backpack if you're on a hike or a bike ride, or before or after your workout. You can get 25% off your first order by visiting my special link, rxbar.com slash old, and use the promo code old. Again, that's rxbar.com slash old, and you can use the promo code OLD. And for today's post, I think we all have imposter syndrome from time to time, where we feel like we don't have what it takes and compare ourselves to others. It's especially easy to do nowadays thanks to social media. But try to remember that, especially with social media, what you're seeing is curated. Someone chose what to display and what not to display. Don't compare yourself to that. You don't know what's really going on in other people's lives, even if you know them very well. Try to focus on your own journey and don't worry about how it matches up to others. You'll definitely be happier that way. I'll leave it there for today. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the Friday show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.